Hello, my name is Alex Karekis and I want to welcome you to my Finding Lost Civilization series. Today we're going to go to a place called Chidago Canyon, which is located in the eastern Sierras of California near the town of Bishop. At this place that we're going to go to, we're going to see this great monolithic lava flow boulder that contains hundreds of petroglyphs. It's incredible. And at this spot, hunters and shaman met and they celebrated the hunt and they wrote the history of the hunt and their life on this boulder. These petroglyphs are not a bunch of babbling or doodling. This is their history. This is their written history. But anyways, behind this great monolithic boulder, I took a hike on a hill and came up behind it. And I found a petroglyph that I thought was beautiful. Beautiful. The backdrop behind this petroglyph was awesome. <laughs> But anyways, I'm going to let you judge for yourself. Take a look at this magnificent petroglyph and the background behind it and let me know what you think. So anyways, let's go out there and have some fun, enjoy ourselves, and remember to always be safe in finding lost civilization. Well, I've climbed the hill behind the petroglyphs on Chitago Canyon, and to my right is the big monolith that we see from the bottom. I came around, climbed the hill, and lo and behold what I found. This is really beautiful. Right there is a concentric circle with an elk, okay? But what's interesting about that concentric circle, right down in the middle, it has a squiggly line. I've seen many concentric circles, but never the squiggly line going down the middle of the inside circle. Let's zoom in on it. There you have it. That's the first time I've seen that configuration of a concentric circle. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the symbols behind there. Fantastic. Fantastic. I'll tell you, it's a wonder to behold. What I'm going to do What I'm gonna do is right here on this rock, or this huge monolithic boulder, is what I think is some kind of map. So I'm gonna get back up on the mountain and I'm gonna take a picture of it for you to see. And you tell me, figure out for yourself, or take a wild guess, and it'll probably be as good to the truth as you can get. So let me climb back up the hill and show you the map. Well, here we are on a backside with the monolithic boulder that we see from the front. What I did is I climbed the mountain all the way around to the back and came into the back end to look down at this boulder. And lo and behold, there's that symbol. I think it's a map. I hope you can see it. It's right there. It's kind of like a circle right over here with a little groove for an opening. 
and connecting circles. Maybe it's a map to hunting ground. Who knows? And then right next to it, there's a bunch of other symbols. I hope you can see them with the, you know, the sun is maybe not at its best, but it's definitely, definitely an interesting piece of artwork. Here it is, I've zoomed in. This is the top end right here, and see how that little entrance is? And it connects to this one, to that dot, or circle, and down to a, like a crossing. Okay, oh, and then there's, there's other symbols back below it, you know? It's a great piece of work. It's a, it's a great petroglyph. Look at that to the right. Those are the symbols to the right. Yes, I think it's a, some kind of map to a hunting ground. I could be wrong, but you know, I think my guess is as good as any historian can give.